Hey kids, and welcome back to James River Kids Online. Today is going to be awesome. Today is our last week talking all about generosity. Kids, there is a big God, and He wants us to live big. And one of those ways we can live big is when we go. In fact, our big idea today is when I go, my world gets bigger. God calls us. He calls me, you, and you to go. To go tell everyone about Jesus. Tell our friends at school, people at Walmart, or maybe even someday going to a different country to tell people about Jesus. And we have a friend who's going to tell us a little bit more about that. So get your Bible, get your notebook, and check this out. Good day, mates. My name's Professor Cliff Dakota, and I'm an adventurer. I'm on an expedition at the moment looking for an elusive tree frog, or as I like to call him, Tricky Ricky. And he's close. I've been fascinated with frogs for my entire life, but this particular frog is only found in the depths of Costa Rica. I knew that if I was gonna find him, I was gonna have to go. Speaking of go, that reminds me of something called the Great Commission, which is an expedition that we're all called to. The Great Commission is found in the Bible. After Jesus died for our sins, he rose again, is alive today, and is in heaven with God. Crikeys, that's amazing. But before Jesus went up to live with his Father in heaven, he spent some time with his disciples and told them some very important things. Maybe your parents have gone on a trip and before they left, they said something like, while I'm gone, make sure you do this. Or before I get back, it's very important that you do this. Like before I left on my expedition, I had to tell my friends how to take care of my pet gators, Kanga and Roo. They are just the sweetest little pair. I wonder how they're doing. Come here, little guy. Come here, little guy. <laughs> Anyways, that's exactly what Jesus was doing. He was getting ready to leave the earth. But before he did, he was telling his disciples, his closest friends and followers, some important things. And one of those things is the Great Commission. And because we have the Bible, we can read it today. And Matthew 28, 19 says, Therefore go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So what does that mean, go? That means that you and I should go tell everyone the good news that Jesus died for us and that God loves us. There's no chance I could have found Tricky Ricky if I would have stayed on my couch back home. I knew that I had to come here. I had to go. I've been on lots of adventures and expeditions in my time, and I've seen so many amazing things. But if I would have never gone, I would have missed it all. And just like that, God wants us to go. In fact, when we go, our world gets bigger and bigger. And that means that you and I have to go out and tell others about Jesus. That may look like going to your school, going to another state, or maybe even one day going to a whole nother country. I don't know about you, but I know that I want to be a part of the Great Commission. Crikeys, I think I see him. I, I gotta go. Catch you next time. Come here, Ricky. Well, friends, Cliff Dakota said it really well. When we go, our world gets bigger. And the Great Commission tells us exactly that. Jesus is about to ascend into heaven when he tells his disciples to go tell everybody about Jesus and how much God loves them. 
In fact, those are Jesus' last words on earth. So if those were his last words on earth, don't you think they're pretty important? I mean, Jesus could have said anything, but he tells his disciples, go tell everyone about me. In fact, Jesus' exact words were, go make disciples of all nations, which means that you and I should go everywhere. We want to go everywhere and tell everybody about Jesus. Jesus wants you, yes you, I see you right there, Psst, you. Jesus wants you to go. No matter where you're watching this, maybe you're watching it in your room or your car or with a friend, Jesus wants all of us to go, to tell everybody about him and how much he loves us. So what does it look like to go? You can go to your school and tell people at school about Jesus. Maybe it's your classmates. Maybe it's kids that you don't know at recess or your closest friends that you sit with at lunch. You can even tell your teachers about Jesus. You can go to your home. You can talk about Jesus to your parents, to your siblings. Maybe you have a friend or relative like an aunt or an uncle and they don't know about Jesus. You can go tell them. Maybe you're in a sport or a club or a band, you can go there. You can tell your coaches and your teammates about Jesus. You can maybe even pray for your team before a game or event. You can even go places that you don't know anyone. Maybe you're at the park with mom or dad, or you're out in your neighborhood. Or maybe you go tell somebody at Walmart about Jesus while you're shopping for groceries. And someday, God might call you farther and wider. He might call you to be a missionary, which is somebody who goes to different countries to help people and share the love of Jesus. He might give you an opportunity to go to a different state or an event to tell people about Jesus. And God can use you and your future career to go tell people about Jesus. You can go as a doctor, a musician, an engineer, a teacher, a coach, Jesus wants us to share his love with everyone, no matter what. Now, some of you might be thinking, there are so many places to go, where do I start? And the thing is, God is gonna speak to your heart. He's gonna tell you where to go, who to talk to. In fact, he might be speaking to you right now. As you've been watching, a name, a person, or a place has popped up in your mind. That's the Holy Spirit speaking to your heart. Friends, because God loves us so much, because he wants us to go, he's gonna help us when we go. He's gonna give us the right words and he's gonna give us the confidence that we need. When we go, our world gets bigger. When we tell somebody about Jesus and they ask Jesus into their heart, they become part of your world. God wants us to live a big life and we can live a big life when we give, when we pray, and when we go. So I challenge you to be asking and praying, God, where can I go? Who can I talk to about Jesus? Where can I go today, tomorrow, next week? And then when God speaks to your heart, be obedient and go change your world. Even if it's blind, I'm good.
so that my world can get bigger and bigger. Oh yeah, me too. God has called us to live a big life and we do that by being generous, by being kind and giving. And you know, the last few weeks we have learned so much about generosity. And if you haven't watched those videos, you can click right here to check them out. You guys are world changers. We're so proud of you. We love you and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.